phone is ringing and I don't hear it because I sleep with earplugs. Uh, and you know, if you don't answer the phone, they won't give you the Nobel Prize. That is correct. <laughs> so fortunately, my wife, Lynn, uh, picks up the phone and she hears a woman with a, a clear Swedish accent say, is Professor Lefkowitz there? This is, uh, we're calling from the Royal Swedish Academy. She immediately knew, in a sense, what was going on. Uh, and she gave me a poke in the, in the side and uh, said, uh, Stockholm is calling. Uh, <laughs> and uh, I took out the earplug uh, from my left ear and was very quickly told that I, I had received the Nobel Prize in chemistry. And my very first question was, am I sharing this with anyone? Uh, and they he told doesn't me, like to share, you know. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, they immediately told me Brian Kobilka, who, as you said, had been my student, my fellow in the 1980s. And I must say, I teared up a little bit when I heard that. Uh, I, I knew that Brian was one of the most talented young people who had ever worked with me. And I had kept up with him uh, over the years. And uh, his work, in the, quite independent of me in, in the previous decade, I would say, uh, had really gone to another level. Uh, and it was just so memorable to share that with him. I mean, that, that was what really iced it. Music